Okay, here we are. I'm Kathy, and this is my amazing UK cane. And we are going to take you through from yellow to brown belt, all the throws, all the chokes, and all the arm locks that you'll need to pass your yellow belt testing, your orange belt testing, your green, your blue, and your brown belt testing. Um, this series is just for your own information. It's not up to kata performance or anything of the sort. It's just, I'm a third degree black belt, Kane's a blue belt in my club, and we thought we'd put it together just for your knowledge. And I uh, hope you like it. No critiquing. All right, take care. Okay, welcome to the yellow belt dokyo. We're going to teach you all the throws you need to do for your yellow belt grading. This is my amazing uke, Kane, and I'm Kathy, and we're going to demonstrate dehashi harai as our first yellow belt technique. Here we go. We're going to do it with a stepping motion. This is how you should learn this for the first time. Get your judo grips. You're going to have your partner take a step with you. And on the third step, you're going to take out his leg, like this. One, two, three. Support your partner from the other angle. One, two, three. All you're doing is sweeping out that leg. I'll show you from this angle. One, two, three. Just under his ankle. Sweep it out from under him, and always support at the end. Alright, the next yellow belt gokyo move is called Hiza Guruma. Now this move, Hiza means knee in Japanese. So we're attempting to get our foot just below the knee. Always keep your toes somewhat pointed, cupping the foot. So the ball of your foot here should land just below the knee. Okay, and then my partner, after I do the three steps, is going to end up here. Almost a 180 degree, about 45 degrees here. Okay, let's see how this looks. One, two, three. He's a guruma. Two other angles. Making sure your kazushi on the top is winding him around like steering a bus. Making sure that's happening at the same time, your knee your foot is cupping his knee. You're also taking quite a wide step as you cup his knee and steer him like a bus. So here we go with the three steps. One, two, three. And we'll show you from one more angle so you can see the knee and the foot placement. One, two, three. Support your partner at the end. Okay, the next one in the yellow belt gokyo is called Sasai Tsurikomi Ashi. It's a long one. You gotta memorize that one. Sasai Tsurikomi Ashi. Very similar to Hizaguruma, except instead of the foot cupping the knee, we're now going to have the foot cupping the lower ankle as we go over with the three steps, and he should land 45 degrees. Let's do it. If you can, get him 180 degrees. See what we can do here. So, one, two, three. With the three steps, one more time from the other angle. One, two, three. Almost to 180 degrees. You're starting here, you're ending here. You're pivoting and trying to get that foot just at the lower part of below his ankle bone. From this angle, one, two, three. You almost come around 180 degrees and support your partner at the end. Sasai Tsurikomi Ashi. All right, next one in the yellow belt, Gokyo, Ukigoshi. Now this one is similar to Ogoshi, except it's a half hip instead of a full hip. What I mean by that, Ogoshi is completely around. So your hip is all the way around. Ukigoshi, is a half hip. The other difference with ukigoshi, the hand is higher. This is ogoshi, this is ukigoshi. So let's do ukigoshi first. Here we go, we're gonna step in. My big toe beside his big toe almost. I'm cupping the back with my hand. 
I'm pulling the sleeve as I come around and pivot and half hip because it's Buki Goshi kind of slides off like this. Hold them up. Okay, we'll do that in slow mo from the other angle. Okay, so we're coming in, big toe by his big toe, hand on the back, sleeve pull, half hip. He slides off as I pull his sleeve. Hold him up. This will be easier to see from this third angle. Let's go this way actually. Uki Goshi, here, half hip, pull. Uki Goshi. Next is Ogoshi, and we'll see the differences. All right, the next one in the yellow belt Gokyo, Ogoshi. Very similar to the Uki Goshi, but now we're going to have a full hip and a complete hand on the belt. Watching. The sleeve pull is always prominent in every forward throw, but especially in Ogoshi. So we're going to have the big toe by the big toe again. We're going to cup the back of the belt. We're going to come around with a full hip this time. Swivel all the way around, pull the sleeve, pull the sleeve. Slow motion as I can do it. Ogoshi. Let's see the other angle. Always the grip underneath the elbow. That way when you're sleeve pulling, you can have complete control. You kind of clip it up like that so you have control of his arm. Big toe by the big toe. Cup the belt. Bring your hip all the way through, pulling his sleeve, pulling his sleeve. You can let him down nice and gently and hold him at the end. We'll do it in speed, fast motion for the last angle. Here we go, big toe by big toe. Off we go. Ogoshi. Next move in our yellow belt Gokyo, Osorogeri. Osorogeri is one of the most basic foot sweeps that we learn when we first join judo. Same thing again, clip and grip on the elbow, so you can do sleeve control, four fingers in, thumb out for the other grip on the lapel. Also to Gary, we're gonna take a big wide step here beside his foot. We're gonna have chest to chest contact. You can't do also to Gary from back here. You have to have also to Gary in tight chest contact like this. Bring this Foot up, and what you're going to do is sweep like this. Okay, let's throw the other angle, also to Gary. Making sure if I didn't have Kane in front of me right here, I would be shadow uchikome by myself. Sweep. You should have a big pendulum sweep. A lot of people do the plant push, and in competition, it just doesn't work. You need the sweep. Okay, so also to Gary from this angle. Nice big wide step out. Chest to chest contact, and big sweep. Let's see the other angle, with Kane's back to you. Showing the chest to chest contact here, regular speed motion. Also to Gary. All right, the next one, our yellow belt Gokyo, Ouchi Gary. We're gonna show Ouchi from three angles. This one's imperative to make sure that you use your kazushi, your off balancing. This one is very critical to have your upper body kazushi working. So I want to have my right hand, if I'm a righty, off balancing that shoulder because I'm going to take out that leg. Whatever side you're going to, that's the side you want to really put your kazushi on. So I'm just going to show it from this angle first. T step in, one, two. Third step, semicircle on the ground with your foot. Other angle. So what I'm doing with my foot is drawing a semicircle with my toe. That's the motion at the very end that sweeps his leg out. What I'm doing with my top is getting all the weight to the leg that I want to take out. Making sure not to off balance yourself like this because he can counter. So still driving backwards, but without going backwards. And your T-step looks like this. One, two, bring the second leg in behind, draw your semicircle with your toe, and take out that leg. And you finish just like this. All right, 
can see it a bit better from the third angle. One, two, three. Oh, Uchi Gary. All right, the last throw on the yellow belt, Gokyo, Ippon Sienegi, or just plain Sienegi. Now, there's two different versions of Sienegi. We're going to teach Ippon Sienegi. It's the most common version, usually used for yellow belt testing. What we want to concentrate on here, this, again, with this clip and grip and the control of the sleeve, is going to pull as your big toe comes in. You're going to pull this sleeve. I'm going to put my elbow pit in his armpit. As I swivel around, so I'm squared up to him with my feet inside his feet, and over he goes. I'll try to do one more slow motion, e palm sienegi. So our big toe is coming into his big toe. My elbow pit's locking into his armpit as I swivel around and throw. Making sure your sleeve pulling the whole way through that throw. This angle will explain it a little better. Regular speed. Okay, here we start with the hold downs for the yellow belt Gokyo testing. There's four Kezagatame, Katagatame, Kemi Shiogatame, and Yoko Shiogatame. So we're going to start with Keza. I call this around the clock. It's quite easy to do these four in a row. So just like as if we were standing, we always have this clip and grip under the elbow here. Nice and tight, like you're putting on a seat belt. That's what's happening with that arm. Here, we're going to go under the head, or you can also do it palm flat behind the head. Either way. We usually learn for yellow belt testing, hold the head like a headlock position. And with your legs, knee up by his ear, hurdler position down there with the other leg, and hold. That's Kazagatame. Katagatame. You move right into it. Arm across the face. Keep holding your headlock position with that hand. You can move right into Katagatame. As soon as you put that arm across the face, you put your ear to his ear and go up on your knees. And then one leg out, making sure not to lift your foot. Have that foot down on the ground and clasp your hands together, and hold. Katagatame. Kami shiho gatame. Kami shiho, we're going to slide both our hands underneath his arms, grab the belt, always go off to one side of his head, holding the belt, face down, head away, and hold. And your back should be sprawled down, hips down. Kemi Shihogatame. Last one in the Gokyo for hold downs, Yoko Shihogatame. Okay, so headlock with this hand. Here he's going to put one knee up. If you can, grab the belt. If you can't grab the belt, just grab a piece of material. Head down, Yoko Shiho. Another version of Yoko Shiho. Here, hold, bear hug, Yoko Shihogatame. Two versions. All four hold downs are required for the yellow belt testing.